Hey guys and welcome to the new part of theoretical modeling tutorial series. Today, um, as you can see, I will be t discussing Half-Life Model Viewer. This tool is um, often, I personally think, underestimated. I mean, there are great, great things you can do with this. For example, if I, uh, let's see, let's load a model up. Alex. Well, first you think it's only for previewing models, but as you can see here, there are lots of options. You could, for example, preview the physics or collision model. This will um, tell the game how the model collides with the world. So if she's a ragdoll, how the ragdoll will collide. You could preview the hitboxes. Um, let's see. You can see wh where the bones are. Personally, I don't find that very useful. But what is very useful is attachments. As I think I uh, mentioned before, attachments are uh, for position positioning certain things. So if we go into the attachment tab, you can see the eyes, left eye, right eye, nose, etc. You can see um, the EMP she, of she always uses. Let's uncheck it. And you see where it would be in the hand and where it would be in the holster so there are m many many functions for uh, attachments so um, what I want to get started with is um, positioning attachments let's see, let me load a weapon um, oh yeah, I'll do what I recently worked on. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, my bad. We'll do a world model. The world model of the combat shotgun. Now, I already got the um, attachment here. So, uh, yeah, let's position it. Let's set everything to zero, zero, zero. Now, what you want? Let me position the camera. Okay, what you want is that it. Um, I believe the red, the red line is sticking out. So it shouldn't be too hard. Um, Z axis first. No, wait. Yeah, x axis. Let's start with 18, not enough. 25, mm, a bit too far. 24 is good. You put it up by minus 1. It this probably isn't the best example, but you should get the idea of what you need to do. You need a yeah, this should do, I believe. Then you get this line and you copy it to your um, QC. Um, what you also can do, of course, are um, preview the sequences. Now, as you can see, this one really doesn't have any sequences so we'll get a different model let's get uh, Alex and as you can see you can also preview with um, weapons loaded on the model so if I do um, shoot shotgun it's using the default shotgun animations, but and as you can see, isn't very usefully positioned. But you can preview any sequence. You can do throw item. You can also unload the weapon. You can, uh, you know, every just about every uh, sequence. You can preview on this since all of them use the same rig. All of them use the default valve rig. Uh, you can also preview skins. Now, 
let me get a quick model I poured a uh, protection on and as you can see three different skins uh, there are also body groups but I don't have them on this model at the moment uh, physics tab uh, I'd have to get back to Alex I think this is pure for simulating how the physics would function as you can see it has mass here and uh... oh god the um, number is different every time or different every time you can also time sounds for certain frames for example if I do frame 3 4 you get this and then you'd uh, add it to your QC file as you can see here well you might not be able to see it but you open the table well you open a bracket and you do event you copy the QC string to here same goes for muscle flashes you can find all the muscle flashes on the uh, valve wiki um, next up, hitboxes. Um, yeah, let's find a model that doesn't have hitboxes. Hold on. Yeah? Sister? And I'll have to cut that bit out. Anyway, to move on, uh, hitboxes, yeah, that's it. Let's do... Nope. 